today's recipe for love is Jewish pizza. This luscious recipe is so easy to make. All you need is four large potatoes, one onion, one egg, salt, flour, oil for frying, and then you're gonna top it with salmon and caviar, chives, cream cheese, and sour cream. We gotta peel those potatoes. Let's grate our potatoes now. We're gonna grate all four of these potatoes. Now, this potato has a lot of water in it. We don't really want that water in our recipe. It's going to leak out, so I throw it into a strainer over a bowl. An onion is pretty slippery. I wanna be safe and I wanna hold it with a paper towel while I grate it. You might wanna do this before you have a shower for that date of yours. So this is gonna go in here too. It's gotta drain. Time to start our oil. So I pour my oil in and I heat it at medium degree heat. That's gonna bring you the perfect temperature. It's one half inch thick of oil, and so for me, that's about one cup. Let's beat our egg. Just a quick beat is fine. And it goes to our potato mixture. One teaspoon salt. We're gonna start with two tablespoons flour because we need it to be thick. Now, if two tablespoons doesn't do it for you, you can add four. One more press on this before I add them. Okay, they're looking very dry for me, and they feel very dry. Into our mixing bowl. That egg is gonna bind it, and so will that flour. Let's test that oil. So I grab a little strand, I drop it in, and it sizzles. We're in business. So I take one cup of our drained potato mixture, and I'm going to put it in the hot oil and flatten it. Watch out, it could be hot. And you flatten it really quickly to about a half an inch. You try to get a round shape, it's not always that easy. Pat it down. Now I'm gonna hover around the kitchen, I'm gonna check it now and then. It's been five minutes on medium, and I see it is time to turn. You're gonna need your biggest spatulas for this, for turning, and you need two of them. Because you gotta clamp it down. You don't wanna break it up. That happens sometimes. On a date, you don't wanna break up. Here we go. Ah, we got action. It worked. <sighs> doesn't always go so easy. And if it doesn't work with you and your date that way, just laugh it off. So the other side will only take about three minutes to cook. So you might want to hang out with your date over that hot oil. Subscribe to my channel for more recipes for love. So you can tell it's about done because the edges of it are going to get darker and darker. So you know on the bottom it is cooking and it's about done. You take a little peek there. So we're going to take it out and we're going to put it on these paper towels to drain a little bit. Just for health purposes. Ooh, yummy. Two spatulas is the trick. Turn off that oil. You don't want to fire in the kitchen and let this between you and your date. Okay, we're going to transfer this to dress it and serve it. Upside down, action. So make sure you top your pizza with your date helping you. Because you might want a little more or a little less of one thing or another. Here comes the cream cheese. Yummy. This is like the gourmet of Jewish bagels, except on a latke. Cream cheese first. Now we add our salmon. Peel it apart. Lay it on top. Sour cream next. Sprinkle of chives. And now for that finishing touch, caviar. I'm on a budget, so I bought wine at the grocery store. But they don't need to know that. And voila, what a sexy dinner for your recipe for love. So let's try it together. Oh, hear that crunch. Oh my gosh, that's quite a luscious pizza. Now, the only way to eat this 
is with your hands and feeding each other. Mmm. <laughs> oh. I don't think you two are gonna make it to the table. So pour that glass of wine and eat your recipe for love together in that kitchen. Do it there. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Subscribe to my channel and let's make love happen.